Huh. You think they want something? Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This Arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Kaito san, there's more. Over there, too. Same losers from yesterday. Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. I'm getting fed up with this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they're taking their sweet ass time. Hey! Quit dicking around and come get some! What the hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope. Thanks for waiting, assholes! Oh, shit! Let me guess. You're RK too? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! Let's play by you. That's one down. <sighs> Not out of the woods just yet. <sighs> Damn. Doc, we should probably get gone before the cop- Why? It's not our fault. Their plan was to come at us in waves. I've about had it with this crap. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sarisan and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Good point. So why not hit RK at home? Yeah? Why not? Soma and Akutsu are at the top, and they probably remember me. I'll just ask them real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. I'm fine with making a house. Yeah, a club in the back. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. Thank you. 
Really, guys? What is it? Is it talk? Yeah, shady as. Who knew an entrance to the under? All right. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? There a problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that, fast-tracked right to B rank. Oh, and just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. I can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Relax, Tak. All I gotta do- You heard the man. Well, if it's gonna be that quick, I'll just- <laughs> You're shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you want... Hey, uh... Think I could use your restroom? You're shit on the cement for all I care. So, you and RK too? Oh, hell yeah. Recruits, if you're looking for quick cash and Comrocho. Wow. And all you do is fool around on your... Screw you. Hey. Not my f- that those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F-minus? The fuck did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. I'll show you who's soft, asshole! <laughs> Sorry, but getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. Better be careful here. Suspicious. What the? Suspicious.
What the? Hey. What the? Where'd that new guy get taken to? Oh, I heard Akutsu-san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. Psh, even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? Sorry, man. Take a quick breather. You there! Y yes Can I help you? You better stop fucking around! Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? You uh, forgot my order already? I want my bottle. Y yeah Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. Here, sir. Oh, 
auseinander. I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. You want to be a civilian again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Wanna have the cash to buy your favorite store, pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. <sighs> Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Keep your fucking distance from us. Did you say... us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. Have it your way, then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Hey, get off your asses! Uh... Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was gonna go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. Well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking out of here. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're gonna cut yourself, man. Are you sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands!
dragging your ass! <clears throat> right! Sorry, boss! Yo! Fuck him up, boys! Dumbass, you down already? No, sir. Come on, let's fucking do this! Now I understand why you wanted Kaito on your side. Still got anything you want to say, Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. In that case, you better leave us the hell alone. Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. You made quite a mess here. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah. That couldn't have been easy, man. I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, 
Yagami san. It may feel like we're a small time outfit in the immediate term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamarocho more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, uh, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamarocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <sighs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. I guess we shouldn't have taken RK so lightly, even though they're new to the scene. Yeah. Supposedly Sum was the one who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex-Tojo. Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan shark, mugging. He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. They've got 50 full-time bodies so far, but if you include part-timers and other associates, they may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. Even half that's a lot. The Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it wasn't RK, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in Kamurocho, huh? Sorry, son's calling. Hello? It's Shiosaki. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on Ahara's victim. Ah, oh, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in East Ikebukuro. I'm about to make a quick house call. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. See you sooner than later, I hope. I caught all that. You go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Okay. I'll head back to the office when I'm done. timing, Yagami-san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Well? Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. So let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office, the attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand, but we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. 
You're right. But I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari here out. And? Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? I'm just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is 10 minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help, but if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? We'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. Really? <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya-san. Hello! <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. Okay, bye-bye. We'll make this quick. What the? Suspicious. So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No. What you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, perhaps. <laughs> Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. 
On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best to. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At, at least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? Your lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. In the security footage, as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal for the train to be that packed. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. To the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why would you say that and look at me? I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book. You said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes. Did you see the groper's face? No. I was too terrified to look. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. Right. That was captured by- Great job tailing him in such a cr- On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? His cap was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was- I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice return- I'm glad they were good Samaritan- For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out- I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. What do you mean? Despite what we just went over, wouldn't you say this contradicts your account of the incident? I'm not sure what- No, Yagam- Oh, shoot. If you'll allow me to rephrase. Despite what we just- I'm- No. Oh, if you'll allow me to- Despite- I'm- No. Oh, if you'll allow me to- Despite- I'm- No. Oh, if you'll allow me to- Well, on the a student teacher named Hiro Miku, but he was soon abducted near his home. Only is that according to the video, the Harasan here he killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. His kid was about to graduate high school, 
but instead, so Ahara took it upon himself. That's to punish awful. Us. But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time, it's just not possible for someone to make that commute. But there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was, in fact, your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any- So that's what the- After hearing your story, I have no doubt you- Which would obviously mean that murder video is fake. Then... Who should that- Wish I knew. Based on the quality, whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI- So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to Pete. Thank you very much for- Yes. And rest assured, this will be the last time. And for dredging up- It's fine. I'd like to report Mamiya-san's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right. Then I'll see you there. No. Me. Hey. I just got back to Comrade Joe. Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's this? I mean, they did run there. Anyway, I'm heading to Gen. To the boss. Yeah. <laughs> you do that.